It was the man who greeted Le Leclerc's army. So what is the life story of Saifo Diaz? The Can Cruzans presents Star Wars Lore Episode 78, The Life of Saifo Diaz. Diaz came from the Cassandran Worlds, a group of planets located in the Outer Rim. At a young age, Sifo was discovered to be Force-sensitive and so was raised in the Jedi Temple. He had the gift of precognition, this was the ability to see into the future using the Force. Diaz built his own blue-bladed lightsaber and eventually achieved the rank of Jedi Master. Later, he was appointed to sit on the Jedi High Council. However, he was removed from the position shortly before the Naboo blockade because his ideas were seen as too extreme by the other members. The Master joined Dooku, High Council member Jakasta Nu, and Jedi Master Qui-Gon Jinn on the world of Sereno around 52 BBY. The four gathered for a meeting which lasted four hours. When the discussions paused, all were confronted by Higo Damask. The secretly known Darth Plagueis voiced his concerns over the Republic's future, causing both Dooku and Diaz to respond with theirs. Whatever Dooku and Damask agreed on that day, Sifo was reluctant to agree on also. Later the two became acquainted with Senator Palpatine, secretly Plagueis' apprentice, Darth Sidious. Dooku grew more and more distant from the Jedi and the Senate. Whilst his friend became closer to leaving the Order, Diaz came to the conclusion that the Republic would face dark times in the future. Even though the former council member voiced his concerns to the council, no members took his opinion seriously. Twenty years after the meeting on Sereno, he once again talked with Damask. Higo repeated that he believed a great threat was approaching the Republic. Damask followed on by saying, Cloners on Camino could create an army which would be stored until needed to deal with the threat. The Jedi Master was not totally in favour of the idea to begin with, but the clever Dark Lord of the Sith convinced him to take some time to think the idea over. Relatively soon afterwards, Diaz held talks with the Kaminoans to create a clone army for the Republic. He used funds from Damask Holdings to pay for it. Damask Holdings was a financial group led by Higo, which was closely affiliated with the intergalactic banking clan. Not long after, Dooku quit the Jedi Order and joined the Order of the Sith Lords, going by the name Darth Tyrannus. Unbeknownst to Sifo, his friend along with his new master Sidious planned to kill the Jedi Master. For a person to become a Sith, they have to kill someone close to them as a measure of commitment to the new affiliation. Not only would Dooku fully become Tyrannus, but the Sith would control the creation of the clone army with Diaz as cover if he was killed. Sifo Diaz arrived on Obadiah alongside Supreme Chancellor Finis Valodum's personal assistant, Selman. However, the secret Pike Republic talks had to be postponed when the Jedi Master was given a mission to negotiate peace between jungle Felician tribes on Felucia. The task set by the Jedi Council was never completed as Tyrannus contacted the Pikes. The Syndicate was paid a large sum of money to shoot down Diaz's Jedi T6 Shuttle 775519 when he was leaving Obadiah. His ship crashed on the planet's moon but the Jedi's body was recovered by the Pikes to show the fallen Jedi as proof of his death. In addition, Selman survived and was taken prisoner. Sifo was betrayed by a long-time friend, but the clones were still being produced and so Tyrannus took over the project. Diaz had kept the manufacturing of a clone army a secret, and to keep it a secret, Dooku erased all records of the planet Kimino from the Jedi archives. He also removed 37 of her systems that Sidious believed could be useful for the Sith, two of which were Dagobah and Drummond. The funny thing about Dooku deleting the records is that he'd done so after leaving the Order. To me, that's quite suspicious. You know that guy who publicly left the Order? Oh yeah, Dooku, I believe. 
Well, he's over there fiddling about with the Jedi archives. Oh, don't worry about that. There's definitely nothing suspicious or strange about that at all. I guess you're right. I'm just being paranoid, I suppose. Eventually. Strange. Kimino isn't in the Jedi archives. Well, no one's touched them apart from that fallen Jedi, now called Darth Tyrannus. Well, I really doubt he changed anything. What I'm trying to get at is, how did no one notice Dooku changing the archives? Where was she? Anyway, the official Galactic Republic records on Sifo Dias, or file 127456, stated the Jedi Master perished whilst attempting to negotiate peace on Felucia. Also, he was on his shuttle when it crashed on Felucia's surface. They also stated that the Felucians recovered his body and disposed of it in accordance to their customs. This explained why his body was never found. His file stipulated that much of the information surrounding his death remained confidential under the office of the Chancellor, although further investigation into the matter might be authorised at a further date. The story of Sifo Dias is a tragic tale. In an act to protect the Republic, he authorised a clone army, but he was betrayed by an old friend, and his death was covered up. He was simply a pawn in Palpatine's game to take over the galaxy. The Jedi Master unknowingly helped cause the downfall of the Republic and years of galactic oppression. If you want to learn about Sifo Dias's legacy and his lightsaber, then click the like on screen or the one in the description. Now it's time for this week's question. Do you think Sifo Dias was right to create a clone army without letting anyone else know? Let me know in the comments below. Remember to vote for next week's episode by liking one of the two comments below. If you want to learn more about someone or something from the Star Wars universe, leave a comment. And for more Star Wars lore, keep up here to the camp design. Today I will be ranking a combination of my personal top 5 and all your favourite clones from lore episode 65. So do your best to chillax and enjoy the episode. Here is the top 5 awesome Star Wars clone troopers.